there. But now we have Jessica um, Waikin Ellis. Yes. I said it. Okay. I don't know you why. You said it right. <laughs> For some reason, my I just forget names. Uh, Waikin Ellis, Jessica, and you are a social media. What? what what's like your title? Well, you could say social media manager. Manager. Okay. Yeah. What, what's your company? Viking Social. Viking Social. Okay, that makes sense. And what do you actually do for clients? Like, what do I do? Yeah. Well, like, what's what's uh, you know a social media manager? Well, I would like to say that I build relationships, uh -huh. and um, I do that by I'm starting to create a social media plan, and then I. Uh, create content and activate it in all the different social media channels and I engage with their audience and then I analyze everything we do to be able to optimize it and uh, get better results. Cool, so you're actually, you are actually posting for them. Exactly, yeah. yeah. All the work. Do you ever like do something where like, okay, I'm just gonna give you like a plan and you do it? Or do you like to really make sure like, you know, just so it's done right, you do it? <laughs> I can do both, but I prefer to do the whole from A to B yeah. because in that sense I can also measure everything we do and I can actually make sure that we can optimize it both for the audience and for the brand okay. so we can reach that goal if that is driving traffic or getting more engagement or whatever yeah. it is. But I'm very flexible with my packages, so it all depends on the business needs. What the needs, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did this start? How did you come up with like, this is what I want to do? Because you know, I say this to a lot of our listeners, you're a very smart, intelligent person, you can do a lot of things. Why social media? That's a very good question. I'm, I'm from Stockholm, Sweden, okay. and I had no idea what I wanted to study, to be honest. And I just happened to end up within the marketing and social media world, and I happened to really like it. Okay. And I worked at Electrolux, a corporate company in Stockholm, Sweden. And I worked there for several year, years in their global department. And then after that, I wanted to try the other side. So I went to the agency side and I tried out that. And how I started my business was that I saw a lack in the industry of actually building relationships. I saw that the agency all wanted money. <laughs> And the corporate Electrolux part was that they wanted that relationship, but they didn't have that. So I saw a lack in the relationship between the client and the agency, but also between the client and their audience and their actual followers. And isn't that the point? I mean, that, yeah, that you're, is you're the point. To, you want to convert <laughs> followers to do something. Exactly. And I feel like for a long time, there's been that people just push out their content and like show what we got. Yeah. Um, but actually the important piece is building that loyalty uh, and trust and that's where you need the relationship so that's was my core goal when I started my business so it's more than just like throwing things on the wall but it's actually engaging your audience exactly yeah. yeah yeah I think that's true a lot of people they when they first do social media that's what they're thinking they're like okay I just got to post a bunch of stuff but it's not as enjoyable unless you like you actually have like a conversation Exactly, and yeah. it's called social for a reason, right? Yeah. And we want to build up a community where we can have similar interests that we can talk about both between the brand and between different brands. It can be that one tech brand and one wellness brand, they have mutual interest and they can actually collaborate and yeah. create that bond in social media. So if you were going to do, I know I feel like every business, because there's a certain social media that's probably better for them. And there's certain social media like, okay, maybe you should only do you know this channel and this channel but it would be better for this kind of company to do this but if you personally were only going to do one social media outlet what would you do and i i, I think i have it in my head but what would you do instagram, instagram. <laughs> what is up with that it's like that's me too i would get rid of facebook everything twitter i already did i feel like yeah, yeah i repost some stuff on it but yeah it's instagram for sure does it um drive you crazy right now though that you can't see the likes on everybody's well, there's a lot of changes in Instagram and it, it's challenging in one way, but it's also really fun to me because I get to try a lot of different tools yeah. and how to use it and so on. But not really. I try to see it from the positive side. There's always a positive side. Yeah. Um, and we talked earlier, um, you know, it's Instagram is more than just the, the Instagram main feed. Of course, you have the, um, the stories on the top, which is probably more popular than the feed itself now. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. And then quite, um, what we did talk about earlier is like um, Instagram TV. Yeah, IGTV, they just released a series. 
so you can now make series just like Netflix is very popular and TV shows are popular so now you can actually see IGTV series from the influencers you're following and so on a lot of yoga studios use mm -hmm. it and there, it's a lot of opportunities for many brands to do use that cool well I thought, you know it's something that's definitely needed social media it's funny that the the world we live in but it is I mean, it's the way that businesses connect with their community. So I think you're doing a pretty cool thing. Um, how do people connect with you if they want to learn more about what the packages and services that you provide? Well, I have a website called wankingsocial.com. Uh, I just started my own Instagram account, which is pretty funny because that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> so you can follow me there. Uh, yeah, any social media channel, really. Awesome, great. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Um, if you missed any part of that interview, go to eventsantacruz.com. Um, and I think probably tomorrow, and you get to follow, you know, learn more about Jessica's work in social media. So thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Okay, well, let's play a little more.